Hi, everyone. Welcome to our live broadcast. And we're always happy to have you on a Thursday afternoon. Thank you for giving us your lunchtime, where we talk to different persons about their entrepreneurial journey and their career choices. I hope that you've been getting value out of our series thus far. Just to recap, we'd have spoken to some interesting persons. We have had um, hydrologists, we have had entrepreneurs in the cosmetics, in the cosmetics um, arena. We've had so many interesting people. We've had veterinarians, we've had pediatricians. And now it's my pleasure to introduce two amazing young women who are the co-founders of co-founders slash co-owners of ProChick. So what I will do, I will let them introduce themselves and I'm going to turn over to owner number one, but no, with no prejudice, owner, number, owner A, let's do, let's do that way. <laughs> owner A, who is Christelle. So could you please introduce yourself to us? <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Christelle Pigger. I am part owner, co-owner of Roshi, the jovial and ambitious co-owner of Roshi. Um, I am a mom and also a full-time employee. And <laughs> I guess budding um, entrepreneur. <laughs> Sophia, feel free Hi, to jump afternoon. in and introduce yourself. Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Um, my name is Sophia. I am co-owner of uh, Proshi. Um, I also have a, well, I'm a full-time employee. I have a job outside of the business and, you know, um, just making uh, my our steps as to becoming entrepreneurs. Awesome. So how did you guys decide to start Froshi? Well, I, I, I guess I've been pronouncing it wrong all the time. Froshi. Can you mean Froshi? Yes. <laughs> Froshi. Okay. Um, how, did you, how did you well, guys decide to start that venture? Actually, we the venture was only supposed to be short term, to be honest. <laughs> um, there was an event that was being held um, last year around this time, well, the last Saturday in the month called ProFest. And we had, you know, um, Crystal came to me and she was like, you know, what about us trying to come up with um, an idea to sell some things at um, ProFest and, you know, we see how it goes. And based on the responses that we got, like even prior to ProFest, because we had launched our Instagram and our Facebook page, and, you know, we had um, a lot of people interested and, but our official launch was October 26, 2019 um, at ProFest. So we are just, Monday made us a year in business. And oh, awesome. you know, after that, things kind of picked up and we just continued with it as opposed to it being a short-term thing. So I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell, if Crystal has anything she wants to add. Um, from us being at ProFest, it was just, observing that there was a niche or area that wasn't covered that I felt could have been explored. And that's the reason why I really brought it to Sab. She wanted initially to do something like a business of her own. And she had her idea of doing a particular thing. So I told her I could have seen her um, business being at ProFest. And I just decided like later on, maybe about April of 2019 to just put it out there that we could try, you know, doing something. And as she said, it was supposed to be something short-lived, but it turned into something that like grew into something that's long-term and a good partnership. Excellent. Speaking of partnership, you know, Antiguans have this saying in business partnership or leaky ship. I don't know if y'all have ever heard that one before. And so you see a lot of people um, not exploring partnership, not exploring partnership um, as a model of business. It, it has a lot of trust and, and, um, and a lot of benefits as well as drawbacks. How have you found the, well, first, why did you decide to go in as a partnership? 
And two, what have what have been your experiences thus far? And is this a model that you would encourage other entrepreneurs to attempt to try? Um, okay. Well, I've known Savia since second form. We're best friends. We've been best friends from since that period. So the trust is there. The know is there. We already know each other. Um, personally, my entrepreneurship, like entrepreneurial background, stems from me just selling little products here and there. I used to sell body, back and body work products before. And that's just pretty much it. You know, I've never done anything out there like how we're doing it now. We're, we're putting marketing and have, you know, like a, a, a whole trademark and all of this stuff. We don't have that organized, well-organized type of business. It was just more of a little me saying, hey, let me try to make a little money on this side type of thing for myself. And that's, the, that's my background. Steph can give a little more detail on her background if she has any. My background in entrepreneurship is I don't have a background in it, to be honest. Like, as opposed to what Crystal was doing, you know, selling things here and there, that was never, that was never me. Like, the most I would, I I typically um, would just be like, I'm, I'm a buyer. I'm not really a person that would sell things. So, you know, um, us getting into it is um, a bit you know, a bit new, a bit different. But as Crystal said, we are best friends and, you know, we trust each other. And, you know, with the partnership of us doing this, it's never a situation where one person's decision trumps the other person's decision. We talk about it, even though sometimes, you know, we may not agree on certain things, we come to a common place. And I think it more so has to do with communication, uh, especially in a partnership, it's communication because it's not only you, it's you and somebody else. So you can't just decide that you're going to make a bunch of decisions on your own and not take into consideration, you know, your partner. So I think we balance each other out because we all, we both have different roles that we play, but even though we have different roles that we play, we still each, in, we still include each other in aspects of what we're doing. So there's never a situation nobody knows what the, the other person is doing. Like, even if we sell something, we will just WhatsApp each other immediately just to let the other person know, this is what has been sold. This is what we're doing. So our communication is always going to be a constant. That's just how we, we, um, we do it. Our communication is always, you know, a constant. And if we can't come to a decision on um, something, like we go back to the drawing board or we'll give it like maybe a day or two for us to kind of mull it over and then we'll get back to it. But we just make sure, I think the most important part of it is the open communication we have with each other regarding how we handle the business um, and how we put forth the products that we offer to our clients. Mm. Okay, excellent, um, excellent. Also, Loretta, I have to add that in a partnership, um, it's still 50-50, it gives, um, to me a little bit more flavor to the business because it brings a bit of Savia's personality and a bit of my personality especially when mm -hmm. it comes to the merchandise we um you know give each other leeway to get stuff that I would like or what she would like and that would give persons more of an option to me as to you know to choose when they want to purchase from us excellent excellent so but speaking exactly. of merchandise what do you actually sell <laughs> You haven't told us what you sell, and by any chance, do you have any, any merchandise with you? Yes, we do have merchandise with us. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get the, the, the banner in the angle, so that's why I, I'm, I'm fidgeting. So if you see me moving, it's because the banner just went back up. Um, but we do have items. Let me get up, and I'll show you some of the items that we do have. Um, we do have branded items, and we also have, like, you know, other items that um, we sell because, you know, we're in an era where everybody is very Afrocentric and, you know, they like seeing T-shirts that have, you know, people that look like them, people that have froze, people that have natural hair, you know, is certain that things that are unique. Yeah, of course. You got to embrace it. Love our melanin. Um, but it's just more so a situation where because of it, it's not something that you find every day um, all the time. 
So because of that, you know, this is one of the reasons why we went into the business to also be able to offer things like that. So we do have items that are branded. So I'll show you like two items that we that are branded. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but Ooh, that's one of lovely. our shirts. And it says um, at the top, it says embrace the roots and it has um, Hoshi. And you know, as you can see, there's a, there's a sister um, with her hands um, pulled like she's praying. So this is one of our items that we have. Then there is another item that we have. Bear with me. Oh, it's yellow. Love yellow. Actually, it's not yellow. It's like a neon green, but it's like Probably a light. It's like a light. Yeah. Um, so this is another one where, you know, we have our for she, but then it also has she believes she could and she did. And then, you know, oh, lovely. of course, representation matters. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is somebody with a, a, a afro? And, you know, that's that's more so kind of, you know, the consensus of our business and what we try to offer. We do also have like, you know, other t-shirts. Um, we have earrings. We have tapestries Ooh. as well too. Body suits, dresses. We have dresses with our Fro Chic um, name on it. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those with us at the moment, but they are there. Persons can always check out our Facebook and our Instagram page to um, see that information. Um, I just want to show you one of the tapestries that we have uh, because of the fact that I don't think a lot of people are interested in tapestries per se, but it's something, it's a good addition, you know, to your home. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to open it up so you can get an idea just to see exactly, you know, one of the tapestries that we do, um, we do offer. This is home decor. Yes, we do home decor as well. And we do like pillowcases with the same Afrocentric vibe as well. So mm -hmm. we try to cover we try to cover a little bit of everything per se. So because you know there's some people they may not be into the clothing, but they're Ooh. also into the the decor. So I don't know if I can hold it back. I don't know if oh, you can that see is it. Beautiful. It is yes. it's like a big heart afro. Exactly. And we have customers who have actually they haven't used this whole entire thing. Some of them, they actually put out um, the silhouette of, of the of the tapestry and they put it on their walls or put it in their children's bedroom. It's just up to you as to where you want to put it. I mean, it, it adds a flavor to your room if you're looking for something, but you don't want to actually paint your walls. So if you use, if you utilize the tapestry, a tapestry would definitely add a little bit more of a spark and an oomph to that area in your house that you're trying to um, decorate or give more life to. Awesome. Shonda Dunlop says she needs that me. black shirt in her life. Thank you for watching, <laughs> Shonda. Also with the tapestries, Loretta, um, it could be used as like a backdrop for a themed party. If you are having mm -hmm. some kind of themed event, you can use it as a backdrop for that. And awesome. the earrings that I'm wearing, we sell these also. Just have to put that in there. <laughs> of course. So. We are kind of, how do we follow you on Instagram? How do we how do we how do we see your social media presence? Okay, um, well, you can follow us on Instagram at Froshik. It's spelled F R O C H I C and also on Facebook. Same Froshik. We list all of our items and prices there. Our presence is strictly online. We do not have a physical store. So we ask people to DM or call us because we do have a WhatsApp number. And I think it's 775-CHEEK. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you can WhatsApp or call if you see anything you like or interested in and you'd like to see the items or uh, purchase the items. We um, you just contact us and we deliver. So do you have? Area. 
Great. Go so ahead. you deliver a fantastic, great customer service. I have another yeah. chat question. Do you have those shirts in large and extra large? Okay. Can't hear you, Sevilla. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, at the present moment, um, the black one, we only have it in medium, but it also depends on which um, shirt the person is interested in. Okay. Um, the green one, I can tell you the size of the one that I have presently on me. If I can find it. Okay. So this one is actually an extra small, um, but we would have to get back to the person. So it would be appreciated if they could just message us on um, either Instagram or Facebook to inquire more about the shirt. And we would definitely be able to give them more information as to um, what is the availability of that shirt. Or if they're interested in something else, we can redirect them to um, maybe other items that we have in um, that size preference, which was, I think you mentioned larger, extra large. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. Great, thank you. And I hope that they do take a note before we wrap up. I'll have you give your contact details again. Um, my no one problem. of my my closing question, one of my closing questions. Um, if you could go back to talk to Chris, Crystal, and Savia a year ago about the entrepreneurial journey, what advice would you give them? Interesting question. <laughs> um, I think, I think for for me. I would say, you know, we just, I wouldn't say we would have to be, you know, um, patient because I do think that we are patient. It's just more so, um, I don't know. I honestly, I feel like we've done everything how it's supposed to have been done. It's planned. Like nothing happened how it wasn't supposed to happen. Um, I don't think there's anything differently that we could have done. I don't know if Crystal feels differently, but like now sitting back thinking about the question that you asked, I don't think there's anything differently that we would have done and said, okay, maybe we shouldn't have done this. I think we are calculated enough that we actually just um, talk about decisions we're going to make and how we execute them. And that's more so because of the fact that we're best friends and we do communicate all the time. So that's something that's already been embedded in us because we know each other for so long. So it's never been a fly by night situation where we would do something out of the ordinary and not think about the pros and cons of it. Um, I think we, we planned. It wasn't a situation where we just decided we were just going to in, um, invest in this and then we did it as a loss. We both came up with a decision as to how much we wanted to invest in the business. And we worked on working towards how much we're going to invest because the money is not something that's just going to come right away. You, uh, you got bills and so forth that you, you, to, um, you, you have to pay. So you're going to put aside money. So I think everything we did is calculated. I think I would just say the only thing I would tell um, myself and Crystal a year um, ago is appreciate what you have. And I think we already do but appreciate the partnership that we have. Excellent. Crystal, if you got to add. <laughs> well, you covered it. <laughs> but um, I would agree with Savio. Um, pretty much there wasn't anything, as she said, that wasn't calculated. We did think about it before we jumped into it. Uh, we weren't fearful because we had each other. We have each other, I should say. Um, so we always had that support system and it wasn't like, oh my gosh, we have to think about taking the leap. It was just to take it and to just do it confidently. So we had each other to encourage. Um, you know, we were able to encourage each other, I should say. Um, so there's not really much that I would say to us a year ago that pretty much hasn't been said or covered, in my opinion. All right. So this brings me to my last question. What advice would you give to young entrepreneurs that want to start out 
in uh, branding slash merchandising business, like, you know, like what you're doing, what advice, if you could give them two pieces of advice, what would it be? I would say to be fearless and to be, uh, how should I say, confident in whatever you're doing. If you, you trust in what you want to do, just go forward, push for it. Don't make anybody discourage you. Excellent. Because Excellent. no one knows exactly what your vision is. And do not let opinion sway you from what your vision is. Just go forward and execute. Awesome. So, Via? I would say be prepared for feedback. One of the reasons why I say that is because, you know, when we were choosing the name for our business, I think we went through like one or two names, right, Crystal? And we got feedback from um, the person that did our logo. And, you know, he explained to us um, that, you know, don't isolate your, your, your name to one thing in particular, because you also got to take into consideration that you may branch out and, you know, isolating your name to a particular item may also not work out in its best for you because that's not what you would be known for. That's not what your name would be recognized for. So if you just have like a general name that can, um, it can change to whatever it is that, it, or whatever item that it is that you're trying to sell, it, it gives that broad spectrum of it as opposed to isolating you to one particular thing. And you know, the second thing I would say, because Crystal has covered like the first two that I would have thought of is, you know, um, I think support. Support definitely comes in a lot. Um, and support doesn't mean, mean that it comes in in a monetary form. Support could also be, um, you know, trying to, like, you know, you're having a hard day and you need somebody else sometimes to just tell you, you got to push, you're there, you know, kind of show you the, the end of the, the end of um, what you're trying to achieve. Because even though sometimes you can see it, because you're in it at the moment, it seems very far away. But then if you have somebody else, like maybe a third party, and support could be family, friends, just cheering you on and just encouraging you not to give up. That is also something that is definitely, you know, um, good because I mean we have each other and we do also have friends and family that are backing us but then especially if you're doing it by yourself you may also need that support because of the fact that you may not have a business partner to lean on in terms of that Excellent. also so, Loretta touching on support ahead. you'd be surprised that <clears throat> support doesn't always come from just your family sometimes your biggest support is the people you do not know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people you pick up along the way like they just, you just don't know them and they enjoy or love exactly what you're doing and they push you even harder to do it you know more than mm -hmm. people that you may know so mm -hmm. support comes from all all areas that is true that's that, that's definitely true and also too um support i would say from males as well too because you know you know, most of the time you get support and it's like from a female aspect, I can say for for sure <laughs> that, you know, we get, we also get support in a male's perspective of, you know, sometimes we don't have that much male tease at the moment, but also when we do market it, we also get um, feedback from the, the men as well. And I think sometimes, especially when you're doing clothing, because as, like, I won't, I'm not trying to knock anybody, but most of the time when females sell items, it's never necessarily, you don't necessarily see an, a section for men. You always see a section for women. And, you know, sometimes I can say, um, Pistol's boyfriend or even my brother, sometimes they would give us perspective on even the female items that we're selling because, you know, men know what they like to see. Not saying that you're 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 advertising for the for the men to notice, but you know sometimes the feedback from a male as well too is a, is refreshing because sometimes you don't you you didn't consider that or you didn't see that and 
they see it and they notice it. So um, something like that, something small like that is definitely appreciated. And as as Crystal said, you know, even persons that don't necessarily know us like that, the encouragement that they give us as well too, it allows us to continue to push and try and, and offer the best professional and um, best service that we possibly can to our clients. Excellent. Can you give us, in our final wind down, can you give us um, your contact details again so if anyone is interesting in patronizing? I'm, I'm loving the tapestry, I can't lie. Um, if anyone is interested in, pat in patronizing you or talking to you further or um, seeing your merchandise, just remind us how we can get in touch with you. Okay, so our um, our business is, the name is Foshi. So we're on Facebook and we're also on Instagram. So once you type it in, um, you will see that. We do also have um, our contact number, which is, it's on, it's on the banner, but I'm, I'm just going to turn back a little bit. It's 775. Um, she C H I C and you will you will get it. Um, the thing is, I I don't necessarily remember the number all the time because it's already there in the phone. And the thing is, when we do have our items, it's the number is already on the bags that you um, receive your items or the tags that you receive your earrings. So I don't necessarily remember it. So it's fine. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's how um, you can find us. And um, like if persons wanted to ask us questions personally about having a business, um, my name is Savia Russell on Facebook. And I think Crystal's own is Chrissy Karine on Facebook. Am I right? You can you can shake your head. Yeah, off. <laughs> um, and um, Instagram. Forgive me. I'm I'm I don't really use it as much. I have it, but it's more so for the business. I think it. Well, they can DM your business, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they can DM the business. I mean, yeah, you can DM the business, and you can access um the questions about you know what it's like with entrepreneurship, or if you want to know further about our business. Yeah, you can you can do that. Um, and it will be welcomed. And if you have any feedback for us as our items or what you would like to see, we would definitely appreciate that as well. Awesome. And it's been a great run, guys. Thank you so much. It's beautiful to see that your 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 friends first and business partners after. That is very, very obvious. And um, I'm hoping that sure she grows from strength to strength. Um, when you get that double XL you know t-shirt you can let me you can let me you can let me know uh but i'm a fan of earrings and tapers you don't worry i, I know you got recovered but um one other thing i want to add i'm mm -hmm. sorry um at the moment we are having a one-year anniversary sale yeah. so mm -hmm. you can definitely check us out it's been running all week it started on monday which was which marked our one-year anniversary and it ends on sunday so we have 20% off of selected items and all our earrings at the moment are going for $10. So you can, as I said, you, you guys can just check us out and take a look at our site and see, you know, what it is that you're interested in and let us know. And we will definitely make arrangements to drop off the items. Once it's in the St. John's area, <laughs> we would definitely, um, we would definitely do that. But we do have a lot of other things different things that we do offer on the site as opposed to just the tapestry. We do have also, you know, tote bags that we just introduced um, that shows, as I said, representation for us is everything. So, it, and, you know, we, we have moods. So sometimes uh, the bags go according to your mood. You know, if today you're feeling like a queen, there's a bag that shows you that has queen on it. Um, <laughs> It's, it's, it's a lot of things. We don't have everything that we could have shown, but definitely just check out our um, pages and you will see more of what we have to offer. And Celia Henry says, excellent. Sevilla, thank you so much, Celia, oh. for joining us. It's Cecilia. And Is it Cecilia? Yes. 
And one more thing, uh, it would be appreciated if you guys could um, like or um, like our Facebook or our Instagram and definitely look out for more different offers that we do have because we do some, we do, and we have new upcoming items as well too. And we try to cater for every um, size. Um, our sizes are not just small, medium. We do have large and extra large in items as well too, even, you know, bathing suits. We try and cater for everybody. That's our aim. It's not just one particular person or one particular body type. We try and cater for everybody. Excellent. So thank you for being with us, guys. Thank you for joining us and giving your, your time, Sevilla you and Michelle. It's been fun. Thanks it's for having us. Very, very fun. Thank you to all our viewers. Thank you for commenting. Um, hop across to Froshi, see what they, are, what they have available. Give them a like and a follow. And um, as always, it's great to be with you and looking forward to seeing you same time, same place at the public library with your lunchtime on a Thursday for our next episode of On Careers and Entrepreneurship. So thank you. Bye.